Last Sunday, a Formula 1 Grand Prix was held at the Nürburgring for the first time since 2013. In Sid Race, Racing Point's usual driver Lance Stroll was ill, so Nico Hülkenberg, who had left Formula 1 the year before, was subbed in as a race driver. He qualified dead last and pushed his Racing Point to 8th place. This performance earned him a well-deserved Driver of the Day award. However, when another German was substituted in a race seat at the Nürburgring, things were even more explosive. Our story starts with a driver known as Marcus Winkelhock. Son of Formula Formula 1 driver Manfred Winkelhock, Marcus was no stranger to motorsport or to Formula 1. He'd won races in Formula 3 and Formula Renault, as well as a less successful time in the German touring car series DTM. He was also nominated as the test driver for the Midland Formula 1 team in 2006, and drove the car in practice on four occasions. Midland F1 was rebranded as Spiker F1 for 2007, and Marcus was kept as the team's test and development driver. However, when Spiker driver Christian Albers could no longer afford to pay for his seat, Finkelhock was given a seat for the European Grand Prix at the Nürburgring as a one-off drive. Japanese driver Sakon Yamamoto, who had driven for Super Aguri the year before, was confirmed as the Spiker's second driver for the rest of the season. Finkelhock had just one chance in a Formula 1 race seat, and he certainly didn't waste it. Qualifying was a rather standard affair for the deeply uncompetitive Spiker team. Adrian Sutil, the team's main driver, qualified over a second behind 20th place David Coulthard, and Winkelhock qualified nearly a second and a half slower than that. As a result, the Spiker cars were 21st and 22nd on the grid respectively, dead last. The race started dry, but heavy rain was expected in the early laps. Spiker, with nothing left to lose, fitted Winkelhock on the warm-up lap for wet tyres, meaning that he started the race in the pit lane. He'd driven the Spiker for just three days and had never raced an F1 car in the wet before. Then, on the very first lap, the heavens opened. Rain fell heavily onto the circuit, and every single driver on the grid, save for Marcus Winkelhock, was on dry tyres. The result was chaos. Several drivers lost control, including race leader Kimi Raikkonen, who ran wide, missed the pit lane and fell to 7th place, having to do an extra lap on dry tyres. Almost every remaining driver on the circuit pitted for intermediate tyres. Winkelhock, now on the wets, now led a Grand Prix. It was the first time a spiker had ever led a Formula 1 race. During lap 2, the rain continued to worsen. The remaining drivers, apart from Winkelhock, now pitted for full wets, as there was so much rain that water was actually flowing around Turn 1, creating a small river. Winkelhock was now 33 seconds clear in the lead of the race, as the only driver to remain on the correct tyres. However, both Toro Rosso spun off the circuit, followed by Nico Rosberg, Adrian Sutil and Jensen Button, all at Turn 1 of Lap 3 prompting FIA race director Charlie Whiting to declare that conditions were too adverse to continue racing. The red flag was waved, and the race was stopped. At the time, it was the first race to be red flagged in nearly four years, after Fernando Alonso's huge crash at the 2003 Brazilian Grand Prix. The race was restarted under safety car conditions, with the vibrant orange spiker leading the most established names in motorsport. However, unfortunately for Winkelhock, who was still on full wet weather tyres, the rain had eased off, and he lost the lead rather quickly. On lap 13, his spiker suffered a terminal hydraulics failure, and he was well and truly out of the race. Winkelhock was not retained by Spiker for 2008 due to lack of sponsorship, and his unlikely Formula 1 career ended right when it had just begun. He returned to DTM for three more unsuccessful years, before joining the FIA GT1 Championship in 2011 with the Munich Motorsport team, where he won the GT1 Championship a year later. He won the Nürburgring 24-hour race in 2017, and now competes in GT3 cars and the Blank Pain Endurance Series. However, Marcus Winkelhock still holds several unlikely records in the F1 history books. He has the highest laps led percentage in history, with 46% from 6 of his 13 career laps. He is the only driver to start last and lead the race on their Formula 1 debut, and the only driver to start last and first on his F1 debut. What might have been if the race hadn't been red flagged? We will, unfortunately, never know.